Hey guys, welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you how to make an animated poster like this. To make this poster, first you're gonna need a poster, of course. I made mine in Inkscape. Okay, so we're in Inkscape and here you can see the poster. And each of the parts is made individual, individu individually, of course. And so I just exported each layer one after the other. What you can do is like select everything, make everything not appear, and then you can just show one at a time and export them in PNG because you need the transparency. Every time I just exported the whole layout. So in Inkscape, I don't know if you know, but you have this page thing, so I just exported the whole thing. So then I went into Cadan Live and I imported all of these layers. All of them but one are the full page, this one, because I needed it uh, to animate it differently. For the size of the project, first when you're gonna make your project, so you just uh, create new or like it just when you open Canon Live it asks you, uh, select something with whatever frame rate you want, and then when you import the first image it's gonna ask you if you want to switch the resolution and you have to say yes, and then your project is gonna have the right size. So right now you can see there's no black. Like this is just the Canon Live thing to adjust it, you know. Oh yeah, and you're gonna need a lot of tracks. So just right click any track, insert track, and then you can add however much you want. So first we have the background at the bottom. And the first thing I do is actually put everything in the right order. So right now I know what it is because I already did it, but like it's the same as in the project as well in the Inkscape, you know. So I'm just gonna copy what's on the left. Yeah, by the way, I kept the left part because I can't remember this whole thing. But you know, I did come up with it at one point. You can see here that I have a thing for the feet and a thing for the bird. It's because I want the branch to be between the bird and the feet. So like if I sh hide these two tracks, it says no feet. Um, but like if I show the fit, the bird is full, and if I show the branch, it's between the two and it hides the tail of the bird. Okay, so we are finally done with this and next is gonna be the animation of course. So what I decided to do is uh, to showcase different things you can do to animate. Of course you're not gonna have the same poster as me, so like just use whatever feels nice for your poster, you know. So first for the circle, I want it to zoom out kind of, well zoom in, no zoom out. So I'm gonna add a transform effect and I'm gonna add a keyframe somewhere around here, like a few frames in, and that's gonna be our end position. And then at the beginning, I'm gonna make it smooth and I'm gonna zoom in so that it hides the whole background, so somewhere around here. And then I'm also gonna add a keyframe here to uh, kind of smooth out the movement. It's gonna bounce a little here. So this is the movement of our circle. Then the bird. For the bird, I decided to make it rotate. So I'm gonna choose Rotate Keyframeable, add it on my bird. This will allow you to rotate in every direction. So X, Y is this direction, and Z is this one. Well, and so here I'm gonna rotate around Y. So at the end I want my bird to not move, so I'm gonna put it here and be in the right position. And at the very beginning, smooth, and I want it to be rotated uh, in Y quite a lot actually, maybe like 900, so it's a full quarter circle, so we don't see it at all. And in the same way, I'm gonna add another keyframe to make it smoother at the end. I'm actually maybe gonna make it a bit faster as well. So let's see what we have now. So yeah, we have all of the things that we don't want as well, but this is good. Oh yeah, and one thing weird about this Rotate Keyframe effect is that you need a keyframe at the end or else it just looks weird. Look, it just keeps moving Well, you don't really see because there's a butterfly in the middle. I'm telling you, it just keeps moving, just add a keyframe at the end, at zero, and then it's gonna be good. 
So then we have the branch. For the branch, I want it to move this way, you know, and to go up. So I'm gonna stop moving it. Um, <laughs> reset effect, reset effect, and then I'm gonna add a keyframe somewhere around here. And for the first keyframe, make it smooth and move it all the way to the bottom and see what that looks like. Is it? Yeah, it's kind of parallel. You can check that the red line is parallel to my branch, so it's good. And then it goes between the legs of the bird. Then for the feet, I'm just gonna copy this effect that I used for the bird. So copy and paste. I added this shortcut myself, so you can just change that in the settings. You can add the shortcuts here. So then we have the other little bits of branch, and these we are also gonna move with transform, and they're gonna kind of do the same movement as the main branch. So add a transform effect. So my one is the one the most to the left, so I'm gonna add a keyframe for the end, at the beginning make it smooth and move it up. And out, and out of frame. And then add another keyframe to, stop, uh, to smooth it out. And then the same thing on all of the branches. I'm gonna make this faster because like you don't need me to explain the exact same thing four times. Okay. So let's see what uh, we have now. I'm gonna go frame by frame so you can see better. So the branch is coming, the bird is gonna sit on the branch, and the other parts of branch are coming in and moving nice and smooth. And I like it. Okay, almost there. Then we have the path. The path is a special one. It's gonna be made with rotoscoping. So I'm just gonna say rotoscoping in my favorites, or you can look for it in the effects here. So rotoscoping with such a weird shape can be a bit complicated, but we're gonna make it. So I'm gonna go to the first keyframe and make this kind of rectangle with a few points. So in my case, I made eight. Uh, it might depend on your shape. Then I'm gonna change the alpha operation to maximum to be able to see what I'm doing. I, I need to see the path to see what path I need to go by, you know. Then I'm gonna go further, four frames, add a keyframe, and move all of my points, um, and make sure they stay on the same side of the path. So if it's on the left side of the path, it stays on the right, left side of the path, and right side, right side, you know. But right now, you're gonna see it's kind of taking a weird um, way, so I'm gonna add a keyframe in the middle and make sure that everything um, is nice and in the right place. Okay, let's check. This one is a bit weird. I'm just gonna change the very beginning to make them a bit more to the left. Okay, okay. I guess that works. Then I go another four um, ahead and add a keyframe. And this time I'm actually gonna add more keyframes because I need more um, for the rest of the drawing. So I'm gonna add keyframes here, make them move all the way up here and add even more because I'm gonna need a few to make the last uh, drawing. You can just add keyframes by double clicking on the line. And then I'm gonna go back uh, in between the two, just check that nothing weird happened, but since it's the place where uh, mine is empty, it's all good. And then I'm gonna go four frames ahead again, add a keyframe and move them so that it's uh, like maybe halfway through. And then go back to frames and make it better. Then again, go further four frames. And this time we're gonna reach the end. Go back to frames and make it better. 
and I guess we should be good. So let's see. Oh, sorry. <laughs> So yeah, you don't want that white weird thing, so you just put it on minimum and it does what you want. You might also change the feather width a little. Okay, it's kind of, um, I'm gonna change this a bit so that we can see what's happening better. Better. Okay, uh, at the end of my path, we have the butterfly. So the butterfly needs to appear um, before the path is finished. So here, somewhere around here. So I'm gonna change my butterfly to be here and I'm gonna make it way smaller. So transform effect to make it move and I'm gonna make it like, I don't know, 20%. 20% seems okay. I'm just gonna check that it's good next to the springtime. Uh, maybe 18%, a bit smaller. And then I'm gonna also rotate it a tiny bit so that it's aligned with the path. Okay, that's too rotated. Okay, like this is good. And it seems quite aligned. So this is its final place. And it's gonna be here, like maybe around... Okay, so I think the path is a bit too fast. We don't have the, really the time to see it. So I'm gonna spread the keyframes a tiny bit. Okay, so now we have more time before the butterfly appears. It's gonna be somewhere on here. And its end will be somewhere on here. So I can just add a keyframe here and add the first keyframe, make it smooth, and move it to the same place as the path and rotate it accordingly as well. So it's gonna be more rotated here. And then I might need another keyframe in the middle, so it's a bit more round and aligned with the path. I think that is good. And now you can see the butterfly is following the path on the last few frames. What I do want is the butter this butterfly to flap. So I'm gonna use rotate again. I'm gonna add it on the butterfly uh, PNG thing. Uh, and I'm gonna move it on top of the transform. I'm just gonna close the transform, I don't need it anymore. Well, uh, like not close, but like collapse. Yeah. So I'm gonna make it flap by rotating around the Z axis. So here you can see it kind of flaps. It's kind of nice, it kind of rotates, you know. So I'm gonna make a few keyframes like this. So at the beginning, it's gonna be quite uh, hidden, then a few key frames later in the other direction, then another one in the other direction, another one close to zero, and maybe the last one at zero. And then another keyframe at the end, just to make it sure, make sure it doesn't move after. So you can see it kind of flaps here, it's nice. And we're done with the objects and we only have the text remaining. Okay, so for both of these, I'm gonna use transform and make it turn and make it move. So add transform in a few frames, it's gonna go to its final destination and at the beginning, make it move and move it a bit to the left and rotate it a little bit. So it's, so it's kind of doing a circle movement, so like this. That's nice. And I'm gonna add a keyframe in the middle, just so I can make the first one uh, transparent. And then I'm just gonna actually take this effect and drag it onto springtime, the second text effect. Uh, te the second text uh, box. So it does the same thing, but a little uh, after. One thing I'd like is that they, the springtime comes when the path um, like before the path comes. So I'm just gonna move these, both of these up a tiny bit. Okay, like this, it seems better. So then, yeah, that's nice. Okay, so let's put the full thing together. Okay, so it's pre rendered let's take a look. Hey, it's pretty nice, I think it works. Let's watch it again. Yeah, I think that's absolutely perfect. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment. 
प्लीज लाइक सब्सक्राइब मोर स्टफ कमिंग सुन बाय